today's lesson. Ever wonder uh, why people got to be um, mad and miserable to everybody? Probably because they are themselves. So if they take that out on other people, that's what I thought. Because... Yeah, unfortunately, I probably was at one point in my life too the same way, mad and miserable. Like, oh, why do you know? Why is things like this and things are like that? Wah, wah, wah. Okay, I've been down that road, and not, luckily, I haven't been down it very long. And I learned like, why am I even doing that for? That's stupid. Yeah, I see that a lot around here. People get mad, so they take out their a anger and frustration on other people, and uh, you just gotta be. The uh, result of their anger kind of sucks. But, you know, all you can do is do what you got to do. And again, it's me, myself, and I, and nobody else. And, um, you know, make things the best that you can do. That's all you can do. I see that all the time here. People got to take out the frustration on other people. This doesn't work. But continue to do it. Uh, yeah, you know, like, I don't want to live here, you know. Like, fuck. People give me a hard time. I'll be fucking leaving. All I need is an excuse. That's it. I'm not well enough that I would like to be. What? Better than six years ago. I'll tell you that. But. Don't be a uh, life lesson. You know. Don't be that asshole anger guy. That has to uh, yell at everyone. Disagree with everything. Rather you know even if you don't you know if you don't agree on shit like I'm learning man just fuck just say nothing man this is better right when you open your mouth it it spurs some crazy person and then you got some weirdo talking to you bugging to you why do you got it right in the road lady it's only gonna get worse from here on but um yeah you just wind up contacting a bunch of crazy people and then you can't shake them loose and that's not good either but another beautiful sunny day, no clouds, if you like that kind, I don't really like that kind, it's just the same hot sun every day, and it's 65 degrees, wow, maybe this Pontiac over here knows how to merge, maybe they don't, and I can't really blame myself either for being stuck in this situation, god damn, a Grand Am guy's poking, but uh, you know, I guess other people's decisions can kind of fuck up yours, but you know, again, you just gotta live with that too, and make the best of it. So I, pro you know, if I wasn't here years ago, it shit would, probably would have been a little bit different. I would think the way my life was moving back then. You know, sometimes you know you just get what you get. Opportunities rise here and there, and they don't arise anyplace else. Or maybe they will, but the spacing, the time between the opportunity. It's a very, 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 very long. You can either use that opportunity to your advantage or let it go up into the sun. And if you don't see a video on single spring drum brakes, just, hey man, maybe you can figure out what this is all about. That ain't my truck. Maybe you can figure it all out. Maybe. You know, people gotta just be like that. But you know, whatever. Hey. Don't be trying to save other people's shit. Save yourself, no one else's shit. That's it. And why not? <laughs> why not? Oh, look, we got the flower to break light. One's out, sometimes two's out, and only one works. Why do I even stay at this stoplight? You know, I can take a different road, and I think I'm just gonna start doing that because I'm just tired of these people just don't know how to make this turn. That's another thing. Why didn't I do that before? Just make things easy for yourself. But some days, like, you forget. You think things are going to be different. But, you know, you give it another chance and another chance and another chance. But things aren't different. They're, they're mostly the same. So over time, that kind of wears on you, too. And it makes you wonder, you know, you really just got to move on with shit. Because, again, it's just going to be the same. You can expect, you know, totally different, to, you know, totally different uh, things to happen. But... A lot of times it doesn't happen. I don't know if this Florida is bumming people. I got a truck that's two years older than this. Almost the same miles, 173. My window tint's not falling off. My interior is not fucking trash. My seatbelt's not like this. My console is not melted. The door handle doesn't work. The transmission slips on it. 
The window doesn't work. The headliner is knifed. How do people do it? This is just another reason to try to stay safe around this area because these freaking people on the road in this emergency vehicle, holy shit, man. Those idiots. Like this van over here, this van rammed its whole left side tires, no signal, into a curb because there was an ambulance behind uh, behind me. And then I'm pulled over to the side, and there's a fucker that over here is pulled to the side, so the ambulance came and passed me, so I gotta move all the way up and hug Van Guy's bumper because people don't, it is retarded, they don't have common sense. Like, how is the big ambulance gonna pass between this little tiny crack? Stupid. So you gotta deal with all this shit when there's an emergency, God forbid the ambulance is gonna come to your rescue. Forget it, man. Absolutely forget it. Look at this one. I wanna go in the last minute. Go fuck yourself. Freaking lost people in convertibles. I guess what I'm saying is just to never travel, not never travel, but just never live in an area where it's mostly just tourists because you're going to deal with this bullshit day in, day out, year after year after year. And it just gets worse. And they try to fuck with you all the time, so you got to fuck with them back. And it's just, it's just not fun, man. But you've seen it in the other videos. Why am I just repeating myself? Here's one in the minivan. It won't keep the line tight. It's like three car lines between him and the car and the truck in front of him. That won't keep the line tight. Here's one Southampton uh, Mercedes over here. Yesterday I had one competition. So you know, all from the island. They come down here and they want to go on the highway, but we're not going to let them in because we're an asshole. That's one of the reasons why I stopped trashing. They get all these trucks going around. People don't throw all good shit no more around here. People, they rather pay people to haul it away than just leave it on the curb. Well, those trucks are running around and also there's a lot less foreclosures going on nowadays. When you know, the economy's still in a toilet, we all know that, but they just, they lie to you and say, oh, it's better, it's better, eh, a little better, but it's still complete crap around here. But yeah, there's no foreclosure, so people don't leave a bunch of junk around anymore. So, that makes it more difficult as well. The gap! This guy up here sleeping, the old fuck in the uh, Toyota. Sleeps at every green light. Doesn't look in the rear view mirror, only looks up when I honk at him. That's it. Will not look at who's behind him. Bed would drive. Oh, that little thing, not a fan. Not a fan of it. Six speed. Now we're making traffic again because they leave these gaps like this and nobody gives a fuck about those cars that are in the traffic, you know, in the lane over here. So if like a fucker like this would move up, nah, it moves up a little bit, be no problem. Then you got these ambulances, I mean, all over. I've seen more ambulances here than I think in a, a small city, like a real city. These people are crashing or dying. It just gets worse every year, but I must make this video to remind myself again. That's it. So that's it. That's it. Gone. Done. It's a nightmare. I never seen it even backed up this bad. This one's putting the brakes on a half an hour early. What the fuck? Watch this. That's what I drive a truck for. Whoa, baby. Give some dust. So they leave all these freaking gap between the cars in front of them and just keep the line a little bit tight. Solve the whole problem. 